one today, I'll be showing you how I did the neon flourishes uh, in this nail design. This is used with uh, gel paint and colored acrylic powder to give it that uh, kind of 3D textured look. For the base color, I used two coats of the Gelase uh, That's Shore Bright. This applied absolutely perfectly, which for a Gelase color is a little unusual. I've had trouble with their previous colors. I don't know if they've changed their formula. If they did, that's all for the better. I'll probably end up buying more if they did. But this one uh, just applied like a dream. To form the design, I uh, used the uh, Mosaic Snow White and I used uh, Glam and Glitz acrylic powders, some neon colors here. This is uh, Sunset Paradise and this one is Berry Bliss. And all we're simply going to do is sprinkle those powders into the gel paint once we finish our design. On the swatch stick, I do have, uh, once again, two coats of That's Shore Bright and a top coat. You want to do this over a top coat because you will not be applying your top coat over your finished design. You want to have that uh, textured uh, feel to it. So let's get started. We'll start with our white gel paint and we'll paint our design. Now you can of course do any design that you like. I'm just going to do something simple here so you get the idea. And to give interest to your design, it's um, it's kind of nice to kind of vary the textures or the sorry the thickness of your lines. Makes some lines a little more fine than others and thicker in some places. All right, so where you, when you have your design the way you want it, you're not going to cure this. You're going to take your acrylic colors And I'm simply going to use uh, just kind of a flat type brush here to pick up our first color here. I'm going to pick a little on the brush and then I'm just going to kind of tap it into the paint. Take our second color and we'll tap that into the top portion. You can use as many colors as you like to create whatever kind of gradient effect that you would like. And we'll tap the excess off. And you can see here, there's a, it's not quite 
the kind of smooth gradient that I like plus it's it's a little bit um, uh, not quite as saturated either so I always uh, would like to go back and do a second layer All right, so once you get this where you would like it, you're going to go ahead and cure it. There's no need to take that uh, powder off just yet. Go ahead and pop that into your lamp. I'm using the LED lamp for 30 seconds for this. So once your nail is cured, I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna take a paper towel. You can do this with a nail brush, but I'm just gonna take it and swipe some alcohol over it. To remove the powder and there you are left with your textured design very easy to do and on my nails this is five days and you can see that there's been no fading of the colors and uh, no part of my design is missing and this is with normal wear and tear on the manicure. So this holds up uh, perfectly on the nail. And um, for those of you wondering about soaking off, because you used a gel paint, uh, soak off gel paint as your medium here uh, even though it is acrylic powder it will soak off with your normal routine uh, what I normally do when I soak off just to help it kind of uh, soak off a little bit faster is I will um, uh, lightly file uh, the design a bit kind of break that top coat and that will usually um, help aid in soaking off so you shouldn't have any problems with this those of you that use regular polish should be able to uh, use this method as well, but you would have to soak it off uh, or file it off before um, removing your your uh, polish. So as you can see, very simple to do. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments for me, just go ahead and leave them down at the bottom. I'll get to them as soon as I can. As always, I do appreciate everyone's support. And until next time, I will see you guys later.